York is the biggest city on the biggest stage with the brightest lights, with the most opportunities. This city is a really hard place to grow up. There are 2.25 million kids in the city under the age of 18. Almost 9 million people. Everywhere you go, you look around and you see kids. Millions of kids in New York City. Kids have to figure it out on their own. They pretty much live as adults. This city is really hard place. And the majority of them are looking for meaning, looking for significance. They need to know that there are people who care about them and that they aren't alone here in the city. Young Life is being Christ with skin on to kids who could care less about them. In the city, we do that with a lot of different kinds of kids. We meet a kid and begin walking alongside them. Coming out into this community, into this neighborhood, and meeting kids at the park, on the block. We will show up wherever there's opportunity to build some healthy relationships. We've met sometimes kids for the first time at club because the doors are open. We may mention we have pizza upstairs, and so they probably didn't eat, and so they come upstairs to eat. And uh, if the game is interesting, they'll stay. I was just walking by one day and this crazy short man comes outside like just come inside get some pizza you know chill watch a movie so we all just come inside and it wound up being an experience that made me actually think and it made me actually want to come back i invited him to be a part of my life and he invited me to be a part of his life it is a lifelong friendship because it's a real friendship when i talk to her i just feel so close to her like I, that's the only person i could talk to i'm telling you when you when she see us on facebook in like um, school, during school hours, she writes us, why aren't you in school? You know what I'm saying? And you have to find the best excuse, because if you don't find the best excuse, then <laughs> you're gonna hear it. I was 16 when I first met Paul. After I knew he was about basketball, I knew it was, it was, it was showtime. Paul has been the human father figure for me. He's just been there, I've been calling him for anything. I never had a strong male figure like that in my life. And I call him Pop Squared, but that's, that's my pop. I love that, man. Young Life offers so much more to kids than just a fun place to be. Young Life is a place where they can be cared for and be safe. And not just safe from violence, but safe from fear. They can come and share anything at any time. They're not judged and they're not told that they have to act a certain way. They just get to be them. And we have to love them as, as we meet them, as we know them, with all their stuff. Eventually, they see that they're loved unconditionally. I think a lot of people don't realize how much need there is here. We need more laborers. I can change a kid's life by just uh, showing up or just serving, just by being there. In 03, there were two or three ministries in the city. Now in 2011, ironically, there are 11 ministries. And now we've got a ministry in South Jamaica, Queens, Red Hook in Brooklyn, Canarsie in Brooklyn, Chelsea in Manhattan, Hell's Kitchen in Manhattan, Union Square in Manhattan, Washington Heights, which is still in Manhattan, in Dobbs Ferry, the Mott Haven section of the Bronx. We're in the Kingsbridge section of the Bronx. We need people who care about kids in the city to come around us financially and willing to volunteer in every aspect, we need help. The problem is, no matter how much we've started and no matter how many places we've been, we're only scratching the surface. I do Young Life because I want to see a kid get it. That smile, that bulb lighting up, that reality check that I'm not who I thought I was and there's a God that loves me anyway. It changed me um, to think different about God, how he could be a big impact in people's lives, even mine. Young Life helped me get back into school and know that there's something more for me out there and that every day I could be doing better and I could be building and I could be growing. Jesus changed my life and I'm so glad that I, I, mean, I, I established a relationship with him because I'm not scared anymore. I'm more outspoken, he gave me the confidence I needed, the confidence I didn't have. Three years ago, I remember standing on the rooftop of a church, and I remember standing on that building saying, there are millions of lost kids, hopeless kids, fearful kids, kids who are confused. And I remember saying, I want those kids. The opportunities are plentiful, and we just need people to come and come around this ministry 
and really begin to reach into kids' lives. And life is home and for everybody that is lost and have no place to go, just come home. That's my message. That's a good message. <laughs> That's good.